I, I know uh, being on the Foreign Relations Committee, you have an eye trained on what's going on uh, with North Korea. Listen to what the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, said. Well, somehow, North Korea, after he canceled the summit because they insulted the vice president, they insulted the, his national security advisor, and they also said they were going to go to nuclear war against us. They, they, they were going to defeat us in a nuclear war. He said, well, we're not going to have a summit under those circumstances. Well, Kim Jong-un got back on his hands and knees and begged for it. This isn't even Rudy Giuliani's wheelhouse of what he's supposed to be doing. Is, is this helpful? Is this unhelpful? Uh, I, don't, I don't know that it has much impact one way or the other, but I, really? I do think, well, look, I, I, I think there's a lot being said on, on both sides. If you look at the rhetoric from the North Koreans, it's uh, similarly bombastic at times. Uh, but I, I think the, the point here is direct talks are a good idea. I have felt this uh, most acutely since I worked so hard on trying to get this young man out of warm beer back from Korea. Um, and he ended up coming back from North Korea in a vegetative state and had been for about 16 months. They refused to tell us because we had no direct diplomacy with them. So uh, with regard to the nuclear program and, and other issues, including human rights, we need to have direct negotiations, direct talks. They need to be frank. Uh, they need to be productive. And I hope this one will be. So I, I support the summit, and I think it's overdue.